Now to the fierce debate over gun control in this country, reignited by the recent tragedy at a Newtown, Connecticut school. At the president's request, Vice President Joe Biden has been heading a committee to try to come up with some answers. CBS News Justice correspondent Bob Orr is in our Washington bureau with the latest on what may be in the works. Good morning, Bob. Good morning, Anthony. Well, with the recent school massacre in Connecticut, the White House now feels it has strong public support on its side for tough new gun control measures. But stiff opposition does remain. Vice President Biden wrapped up a week of meetings on the contentious gun issue by sitting down Friday with representatives of the video game industry. And once again, he said it's time to curb gun violence. I've never quite seen anything that has, uh, has uh, shocked the consciousness of the, uh, of the American people like uh, six and seven year old kids being riddled with bullets in a classroom. Biden, who expects to make recommendations to the president Tuesday, has already signaled strong support for universal background checks for all purchasers, even those who buy weapons at gun shows and over the Internet. Biden is also expected to recommend reinstating the ban on high-capacity magazines. And the president has called for a renewed ban on so-called assault weapons. The administration could also pursue funding for more cops in schools and for more robust mental health programs. There is no silver bullet. There is no, as one of my friends said, no seatbelt that you can put on to assure that you will not be uh, in this circumstance again. But the National Rifle Association, which had an icy 90-minute session with Biden on Thursday, is promising to fight, saying new restrictions would be an attack on the rights of the 4.2 million NRA members. We said before the election that if Barack Obama were reelected, that he was going to, during his second term, go after our Second Amendment rights. The Newtown tragedy gave him an opportunity to do that. Now, an important point, even if Congress supports the president's new gun proposals, remember this, the changes probably won't happen right away. Gun legislation, in fact, will have to wait weeks until Congress gets through the next fiscal cliff debate over the debt ceiling. Anthony? Bob Orr, thank you, Bob.